spring bear hunt in Canada. A little farther north than we usually go. Slightly north of Scipio. Grand Prairie. It's spring black bear with a bow. We've got an exciting show for you. Hope you guys enjoy it as much as we've enjoyed the ride so far. We stopped at every dirt strip between here and Salt Lake City. That's a lot of landings. Takes a while to get to Grand Prairie. Kids, go look it up on your map. Hooked on Utah is proudly presented by Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Prime Snacks, a delicious cut above. Interstate batteries, outrageously dependable. Hell's Canyon Custom Rods, featuring the Hooked on Utah series. Smith & Edwards, Utah's original adventure store since 1947. Edge Products, the engine performance leader. And Skeeter, featuring the all-new FX Bass Boat. Yeah, now we can't find the parking stall. We're just pulling out of Grand Prairie, Canada. Don't know if you've ever been here, but as you can see, it is one Grand Prairie. We're on our way to La Crete, which is uh, about a four hour drive from Grand Prairie. And then tomorrow, it's Black Bear with a bow. Crossing over the Dunvegan, uh, looks like lake or reservoir or something here. Beautiful. After 400 yards, turn right. We're here at Humphreys Archery. I'm here with Brian Cook, the owner of Humphreys Archery. I've got my brand new Hoyt bow, and today we're going to get me set up and ready for this bear hunt. I am super excited. Brand new out of the box. Brian, what do we need to do to make sure that the bow performs at its very best so that it's just me making the mistakes? Well, there's a lot of things that go into the basic setup of a bow, but we're going to go take things a little bit farther than probably what a lot of places do. First thing we want to check on the bow is, first of all and foremost, you have a phenomenal bow. Great bow, great choice. Um, there's a lot of things that go on on the bow that uh, I don't think a lot of people necessarily pay that close of attention to because the manufacturers do a great job of of uh, releasing it from the factory with, with it pretty much done for us. But there are a lot of basic concepts that we do need to check and just double check. One of them that we're going to look on and we're going to make sure that the alignment of both cams, if you could uh, say that these were two motors, so to speak, we've got to make sure that they're in time with each other or they're working in sync with each other. I cannot believe how far you can see in the trees and just the rolling hills and the plains. I've been pleasantly surprised at how beautiful it is out here. Absolutely gorgeous. Now we've got about 83 kilometers till we hit the Peace River, which is the river we're gonna be hunting along. So our arrow, when we set up the rest, we set up our elevation there. That tells us that we are in the center of our string. So now when I, when I square this off, and we see that I've got a nice square jig on the back here, and we're set at an eighth inch knock high, now I can go ahead and tie this, um, and I'm just going to give just a little snug on that because once I've, I've moved that up and down the string, I'm not going to over tighten it because we may manipulate this back in the, the back because I like to keep this square so I don't want to raise up and out of that burger buttonhole if I don't have to. I'd rather move my knocking point up and down. So I'm going to leave this a little bit loose and then we'll snug it up after the fact okay. a little bit later. So now, folks, from today forward, this will be known as the Gary buttonhole for all archers. We've been driving for the last three and a half hours out in the middle of nowhere. We are literally 200 miles from the border of the Northwest Territory in upper northern um, Alberta. We're now on our way. We're almost to, uh, to La Crete. So he wanted it at 65 pounds. Oh, look at that. 66 almost. I'm good. Oh, did you want 65? I better give him a quarter twist. Give me a quarter twist, because that one pound could actually be... I mean, that so we're going to give him that much. Most Canadians don't even know that I'm a fairly big deal around here. I just arrived in town. 